guys, it's Maya again, and today we will be drawing a kid in the jungle. So, okay, so for our kid in the jungle's head, we will have to draw a circle. We want to make sure that he's drawn off to the left side so that we can draw the tree later. There's his head. Now we're going to do his neck and his body. So his neck is a little rectangle. Then his body is like a rectangle. Then as you go down, it kind of goes out like a point. For his clothes later. Now we're going to do his legs. So his legs, his left leg goes out with a curve in it. And then you'll do another curve for the back part. Then you go down. And for our front curve, we have to draw. We have to draw front curve again for our foot. Then we come back. And our left foot is a little bigger than our right foot. So then our right foot goes out with an arch again. Goes down. Then we make our arch. There's our body so far. Now we're going to do part of his face. So his left eye is bigger than his right eye. Then we draw our pupils inside and color those in. Okay, next we're going to draw his nose which is a little, little bit below his eyes and it's just a little bump with a line attached to it as it goes up. Then we're going to draw his smile. Then our next part we're going to do his arms. So his arms kind of dip for a curve. His right arm is a little straighter than his left arm. His left arm is a little more bent. Then we draw our hands. So we draw our thumb. Then we draw... It's like a mitten for his hand. It's what they want us to draw, basically. The thumb showing. Next, we're going to do his other arm. His left arm. So it comes down with a curve, but goes lower. And next, we're going to do our bottom forearm. Now we're going to draw his hand. So there's a bump, and then we draw our thumb. Then we go out and draw the rest of our hand. So there. Next, we're going to draw his another part of his face so his smile again goes ha you widen it like his mouth is open now we're going to do his eyebrows and his left eyebrow is pointing up and his right eyebrow is just straight next we're going to do his ears for the next part, we draw them attached. This time we don't have to draw circles for them. Okay, now we're going to do his hair. So his hair comes out with a straight line, but then it kind of curves. Well, it doesn't curve, it has a straight line again, but it goes in the opposite direction. Then a straight line 
over the top of his head. Then it curves down and then makes your hair hit his bangs and the jaw four of them, four being parts, and we have a part that connects to his to the other part of his hair. Next we have to draw his teeth. So we draw lines in his mouth for his teeth. Now we can draw the lines on his hands for his fingers. And then we draw well we only draw two lines on them on his hands and two lines on his feet. I'm not sure why. Then we draw the inside of our ears so that our kid can hear. Then we erase the top of our head that the hair doesn't have part of his head in it. Next, we need to draw his clothes. Oh wait, wait, we have to do another part of his hair, which goes below his ears, comes down, and then up, then down again, and up. Now we can do his clothes. So, we draw a line diagonal, and then we draw a line across. For his clothes, then you color those in his clothes. There. Next, we can draw another part of his hair. So it comes out. It's like not attached to his actual hair. It's like we draw points, kind of. Then we have to draw animal spots on his clothes. Then we draw our coconuts that where he's juggling. So those are circles. There's three of them. Color those in at first. Now we're going to draw some lines inside the coconut. I'm not sure why. Just make sure that you can see them. Now we can draw the tree. So you have your bottom of the tree. Then it kind of curves up. And then for our leaves, we draw, it's like a big circle in the middle. I'm going to draw a circle because it's, it's easier with a circle. And then I'm just going to write a circle after I'm done. So then we come out with our leaves of the tree. And we draw a line to the left, kind of. Then we come back in and then out again. And then in, we go down, we do that again, kind of like a diamond shape. But you skip the spot on his trunk. 
on the track part. Because so there's draw lines on the tree. There, now we erase our circle so that all the leaves are attached. There, now we draw three lines on each leaf. Then we shade, we color in our leaves. Next we draw lines on our trunk. That's our kid in the jungle after he's all done.